I'm Faith. And I'm Nasa. And this is Go Go Ladies. Ladies. A podcast about navigating life, love, and so much more from a 40 plus perspective. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. No, my name is actually Faith. <laughs> that is not what I meant when I said introduce y'all? yourself. It's your girl, Faith. Hey, everybody. It's the same one, Nasa. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> the same one. <laughs> Depends on the day. Depends on the minute. <laughs> hey, hello. You yes. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining us again. For those who are listening to this via um, iTunes or Spotify, you're missing Faith Dancing. I'm a rapper. <laughs> so. <laughs> bars. So you need to know. Yes, bars. Hey, y'all. It's other people's bars, but it's still bars. <laughs> Touche. Touche what's going on i feel like a lot has happened <laughs> a lot has transpired in the world <laughs> so, much so that we're coming to you a few days early because we got to talk about early it. because yes it's topical people are already like can y'all please stop talking about it and no not yet what's the it we're talking about okay let's be honest it's the slap heard around the world Yes. Wow. Like, if I hadn't have seen it, I'd have thought it was a Dave Chappelle skit. Right. Like with Rick James and uh, yes. Charlie Murphy. Yes. Put the five fingers into the face. <laughs> like, that's what I thought happened. Yes. So, for those who haven't, or who've been under a rock or at the International Space Station or wherever you might have been where you did not see this, mm-hmm. um, the Oscars were Sunday and they were being hosted by three women, mm-hmm. lovely women. Um, Amy Schumer, yes. Wanda Sykes, Regina Hall. Yep. And Chris Rock was up to present an award and doing what comedians do, because he's a comedian by profession. He was you know, making some riffs, making some jokes, ha, 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 and made a comment about Jada Pinkett Smith and that she'll be in the next G.I. Jane too. Now, after that, Will Smith, who is Jada Pinkett Smith's husband, walks up on the stage, smacks the shit out of Chris Rock, and then goes back to his seat. Chris Rock looks at him and says, wow. <laughs> and proceeds to continue on, and Will Smith says, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. Twice. Yelled On live TV. <laughs> Yelled it. Yelled it. Point, let me just back up a little bit. They had, they had stopped the broadcast, if you will. So I, I was watching it in real time. I did not. Right, because you was living your best life. We're going to get to that. But... <laughs> I watched it in real time and it the broadcast had stopped, like it completely was muted. Like you couldn't hear, like it happened, he goes back to his seat and then there's, is dead air. So, <laughs> so fade to black, Oscars graphic. Not fade to or black. frozen picture. What, what it's did you frozen get? on Chris Rock. Okay. The picture is on him. Then they bring the broadcast back somehow, but the camera pans to Will Smith where he says, Keep my wife's name, I chose F and Yeah, twice. He yells it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, continue. So, <laughs> as Faith quoted, I was not watching it live. Right. I really wasn't watching the Oscars this year. Just had other things going on, kicking it, doing some other stuff. You are life. living your best life. Living my best life. So, um, yeah, I hadn't planned to watch it. Here's the thing. My, how did you end up watching it? I don't know how I ended up watching the show. <laughs> I really don't know, but I was like, let me just turn it on because I don't think anything else was on that I wanted to watch because oh, my Madness had already taken place. So it really was like the games were played earlier. Now we're down to the final four. But anyways, yeah, I know. And I ended up on it, and I I was watching it. So I think like a lot of people 
in real time, I did. I thought it was a bit. I really did. I was like, oh, and you've heard people say that. Those of you listening by now, you've heard like, yeah. oh, we thought it was a joke. Like, it, you know, and I was like, oh, and then you saw Lupita. <laughs> so I wasn't watching it in real time. Here's how I found out. Twitter blew up. Oh, yeah. Twitter I blew did. up, ding, 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 ding. And I'm like, what's yep. going on? Yep. So I look. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Will Smith met Chris Rock, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, they got to be playing. Right. So I start looking at Twitter and I see people that I respect and follow talking about it. And I'm like, talking to my daughters and like, something just went on the Oscars. Like, I don't know what happened, but something just went on. And so then I see the video from Australia because mm-hmm. they didn't drop it in Australia or Japan. Apparently it was still alive. Mm-hmm. And so I see it and I'm like, did that yeah. just happen? That was all of us. That, that Imagine just happen? watching, and yet unless you watch catching it after it happened. Imagine when it first I was in I was like, because at first it didn't even to me look like it connected. It looked like some stunt man. You know how they teach you to mm-hmm. and Chris Rock just turned his face because I didn't hear anything in a microphone. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a loud pop. It wasn't, I was like, oh, that yeah. 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 So <laughs> yeah. Okay, I know you have thoughts. And you have different perspectives. I'm okay. interested to know your perspective as a wife, as a you know what I mean? Because everybody everyone has an opinion on this so i'll get to mine but i know you have deep thoughts here's the deal let's be (laughs) honest you've heard probably a thousand different perspectives in the past what 36 hours 48 hours however many hours 72 hours has been now um here are my just quick thoughts number one i think it was ridiculous i think that he should not he, meaning Will Smith, mm-hmm. should not have put hands on Chris Rock mm-hmm. for the joke that he made. Mm-hmm. Um, and I get people are like, well, he said some stuff in 2016. You had between 2016 and 2022 to make a phone call mm-hmm. to talk to a man to say, keep my wife's name at your effing mouth. You could have said all that between 2016 and 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, you didn't, apparently. Or mm-hmm. you did, and he still didn't. But bottom line is, you don't put your hands on somebody else for a joke, a simple joke, like Mm -hmm. not even a, a, um, not even a really harmful joke. Now I can say this. I do not get to decide if Jada was harmed by that joke. Right. She gets to decide all of that. Mm -hmm. Like if her feelings were hurt, whatever else, she gets to decide that. But as 50 plus year old people. Ain't they out? I'm sorry. (laughs) No shade, but y'all are. (laughs) At my age, if you put hands on me, you're going to get hands back. Right. In a court case. Because at this age, I'm not going to swing first on somebody unless you're attacking my child or my mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you put hands on me, you're going to get hands back. Okay. If you say something crazy to me, Mm -hmm. I'll probably say something crazy back depending on where I am yeah yeah depending on where I am if I'm at the homecoming pepper I'm yakking off I might you know be slick mouth back if I'm at work and you yakking off I might be a let's go see HR about that let's handle it a different way you bring different versions of yourself to different things mm-hmm. so I just don't think the hands were warranted okay. I will say this the fact of how he walked up there and Chris Rock's hands were still behind his back. I mean, Chris Rock had no idea that was coming. Mm -hmm. Like not even a little bit. You're right. And I had to explain to my daughters that Will Smith is a beloved movie star. Mm -hmm. He is the king of the summertime anthem. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, his rap career is almost Nick Mm Cannon-esque. We got Bienvenido on Miami. We got summertime. Parents just understand. But really in the rap greats, yeah. he's not one. Mm-hmm. He's always been kind of almost a joke, you know, especially at the time in the 90s when we had for real 
hardcore rappers going in, he was the anti. And he was the first rapper to win a Grammy. He was. Always been perceived in, in, as the soft. Soft. He just, he has been. Just poppy. Well, he is. Exactly. But his persona, his rap career when he came exactly. out. Exactly. No cussing. But no, yeah, all of that. Exactly. My parents just don't understand. That's my right. Thing. I mean, look, I'm not saying it's not a good song. I'm just saying it was a different vibe. Right. Yeah. And so throughout all the years of that, to mm-hmm. now at the age of 50 plus. Plus, he's the plus. Because <laughs> it's not like they haven't been the butt of jokes before. That is true. As a lot of people have made that point and brought that up. Yeah. I can't tell you when and where to get mad. That is true. But I am going to say. If you were going to be mad about some things, there were some entangling things <laughs> to be mad at last year, year before. Yes. Right. You yeah. know? And before that, because we just got out about it last year. True. Apparently, you did before that. Yeah. So I just, I just, for me, I think it was a punk move. I will say that the Oscars as well has a culpability in that. Okay. In what scenario do you get to walk up on somebody, smack them square in their face, turn your back on them, and then sit back down, continue on with the show, and then get up and be given a platform to make a speech, talk about I'm a vessel of light and love? Like, really? Mm-hmm. Really? Before, and I'm sorry, I'm a vessel of light and love. Like, no, 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 no. And I'm a person who deals in PR. I know I'm going long. I'm sorry, Faith, about that. No, I wanted to ask you about that too, because I, go ahead. But I'm a person who deals in PR. Yes. The way this works is Mm -hmm. you do something stupid, you get escorted out, 24 hours to sit on it, you make your apologies to the appropriate people, and then you get to talk about, this is out of character for me, I need to work on anger management, blah, blah, blah. This is what I'm going to do. You don't get to just go from smacking a bitch to I'm a vessel of light. <laughs> so how do you feel then about his apology? Which I we knew a statement was coming. Of course. And it was issued. Mm-hmm. Um, you yep. think it's too late yep. for that? I think it's whack. I think that your know, tears and all of that for me, mm-hmm. it honestly annoyed me. Like okay. it annoyed me. Like, yes. don't get up here now. Mm-hmm. This is the pinnacle. You want an Oscar. It's the pinnacle of your acting career is you getting okay. this Oscar. Mm-hmm. There's no greater award, right? Mm-hmm. I got you. Now, I will say, after he made his speech, his publicist was like the first person to hug him backstage. Like, you saw her come up, like, kind of like, a, oh, good job. You know, and they went off into the sunset or whatever. Press room or wherever they go. No. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, I saw that and I was like, okay. And then you have your OG boo Denzel and Tyler Perry. (laughs) Look at you smiling. You don't mention Denzel as much now, but that's your OG boo. OG boo. (laughs) Consoling him um, or what, you know, that kind of people said that elder statesman uh, situation, but I don't know. No. I don't know. For me, those are his peers, those are his friends. That's what you're yeah. supposed to do. Faith, Hi. I know you well. I know there have been times you were about to lay hands on somebody. Talk about it. And I was like, hey, come here. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Yeah. Did we not have that discussion? We have. You, you did. You made me go apologize. <laughs> One in the clapping incident yeah speaking of truly though but like like you said to your point of that's your job that's your you know when I was a child I thought as a child so exactly. I almost got into it with a co-worker in front of my boss she was right there <laughs> and she just eventually told both of us to shut up thank god I didn't lose my job <laughs> and but, wise counsel wise <laughs> you better you better come to your heart yes <laughs> yes but you yeah you know so, I mean, that's not the same situation but I, that's his workplace and I'm in my workplace like no you're not gonna do right 
And so I expect them to comfort him. I expect them to counsel him. I expect them to say, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. But the fact that nobody said you need to get your stuff and go home right now. Yes, it out. Yeah. And here's the part that added to the to me being angry about it. Like you went up there on live TV and did this. Mm-hmm. Turned your back, mm-hmm. sat down, which after you hit somebody and turn your back on them, that really is disrespectful. Because it's saying you think I ain't going to do nothing. Right. Sit down. Continue on the show. Win an award. Make this bullet BS speech. And then go to after parties. Mm-hmm. Hey, Dan. What is Grammy dancing? Yeah. What did that have? And everybody around you is like, oh, it's okay? Hollywood. Now, I, I, apparently so. Apparently there's a, I'm going to call it the 45 effect. Mm-hmm. The 45 effect. We can apparently do whatever the hell we want to do, not reap any consequences from it or repercussions, and then continue on our life like it didn't happen. Because that's exactly what happened. Yeah. And I'm just like, he gets not making an excuse. But he's that, not black, he's OJ. No, OJ. I, no, but look, that that's happens? that privilege. That's that privilege. So where they get to do that, he absolutely gets to do that. And that was shown that he did it. And also though, for me, we don't know. Here's the thing for me. I'm sorry. Did you make your point? Cause I'm ready to go. With go ahead. <laughs> we'll go back and forth. Go ahead. We don't know these people. I'm not going to hold you to a standard. I don't know you. At the end of the day, y'all are millionaires. I was just talking to you about paying a bill. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So I have a, a little bit of a different perspective. One for me is you chose that behavior. That was a choice you made to go up on stage and do that. Also, you can't control how people respond to you either. So I, and Nasa knows this, y'all will now know this. Chris Rock is one of my favorite comedians. And I've heard in the, you know, aftermath, well, he ain't even that funny to me. He painted white people, whatever. I, I'm not riding for him, but he is one of my favorite comedians. He just is. I think he's funny. Yeah. At every career, every job has it, there's risk. And every comedian knows that. So for the, those that aren't the Chris Rocks, how many other comedians have been run up on? Somebody meeting you outside in the back alley. Somebody heckling you. You know, now, no, you don't expect it. You're not telling coming out there like, I want to get my ass mad. <laughs> but words do also have power. So okay. yes, Chris, tell your jokes. You know, ticket sales went up for you. Like <laughs> you literally took it on the chin. So, you know, but in your dis- in your choosing to make that joke, you can't control the action that was behind it. Not, I'm not saying either one is is right, but I just, I think, I don't hear enough about people, adults making choices to do things and making bad, bad choices in some cases, in this case, for sure. You just don't get to, you don't get to, you don't know how people are going to react to something, you know? And I'm not necessarily even on the be kind because you never know, Chris Rock is a comedian. But my other point is, <laughs> I don't want to say when did we become so sensitive, but like he, it, he's a comedian and I don't know that he made a rape joke or something that was distasteful but again like you said Nasa we don't know what it's like to have alopecia Will has to go home with her we don't know the struggles they've had at the house he may have seen her cry we don't know any of that because we don't know them so that for me was it I don't know and then the other thing that really bothers me and we all do it we all do it you don't know what you do until you're in a situation. True. So many people. So it, you know me. Well, I wouldn't let if that was me. You don't know. One, many of us will never go to the fucking Oscars. Sorry for cussing. <laughs> We're no. not going to the Oscars. Chris Rock, you don't know his reaction. Well, I he ain't go. You don't know what's going on in his mind. You're in shock. One, people don't factor in shock. That's not normal. So no, his immediate reaction wasn't, let me knock if you buck. He's like, no, nah, I could just smack me. Like, 
So I, that for me, that, I don't know, for some reason that just bothered me. All the people, and that couldn't have been me. And, and it's not going to be, sweetie, because you're not going to go to the hospital. No. I'm done. I'm going to breathe. I like your points. I like your points. The other part that annoyed me was the narrative of, y'all say protect Black women, and then when it happens, here y'all are talking about it wasn't right. Her life was in danger. Protect Black women is not just fisticuffs. Protect Black women is when you see rape culture going on, you call it out and be like, bruh, don't do that. That's not right. To your friends and family members, to those that you are in alliance with. Yes. Protecting Black women is when somebody says something crazy, if you perceive what he said to be crazy, then it is a, uh, bro, let me pull up on you in the back. Let's talk about this. You don't need to talk about her no more. There's a um, comedian rapper, I forget, that made a line about Beyonce and said Beyonce pulled up on him and was like, let me yeah. tell you what is not funny. Yeah. And he doesn't do that line anymore. Yeah. Like a simple conversation sometimes goes a mm -hmm. long way. Mm -hmm. And for the first response to be a smack on a lame joke. Yeah. And then we're assuming that he knows about her alopecia. We know we're the demographic that listens to Jada, that watches the Red Table Talk. Yeah. He really might not know. Yeah. A lot of people said they did not know. They said she just thought she was rocking a, a fade. Yeah, that is true. That could be there too. You know yeah. what I mean? And so protecting me does not mean elevating the situation all the time. Mm -hmm. If someone is physically attacking me, lay hands all day, pop the mm -hmm. trunk all day. But if someone is just, I'm for real, but if somebody just says something crazy, bro, let me holler at you. Mm -hmm. Or F that dude, let's move out the way, go away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remove, protecting me is removing me from the situation in which I am being yeah. accosted. Yeah. Yeah. That does not mean I want you to put your life in danger. That does not mean that I want some, you to get hurt, especially if I care about you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that just yeah. doesn't make any sense to me. Like, there was no threat to her safety or security at that moment. We're in the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're in the Oscars. And why didn't nobody tackle his tail and knock him down before he even got there? I'm just like... He a million dollar earner, baby. Come on. <laughs> Ain't nobody touching. You know that girl. <laughs> what I wonder if he is still. Do you think it's, see, that's another conversation though. I don't know that his career is just so tarnished that he'll never, I just, I don't know. I, I, I doubt it, but I don't know. I don't know. Really? I think they still gone. Cause he's like, I, mm. I don't know. I think how he was received and mm -hmm. how this plays out will pay a big part of that. But yeah. I also think that I'm not on these channels. Let me clarify. It's not my demographic, nor am I on these channels. Absolutely. I'll be interested to see what the white female demographic is actually saying about it. Mm -hmm. Because if they're saying that he did something wrong, mm -hmm. then I think that would impact his earning potential mm -hmm. into the future. You know, um, I do. Yeah. I do. I think that um, there are certain, here's why. He remember many, 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 many years ago, we had um, Harold Ford running for Senate. Mm -hmm. I forget who he was running against at the time. Whoever he was running against actually won. Mm -hmm. And the person he was running against, it was Steve Cohen. Was it? Oh, okay. Was it? I'm not sure. He was, well, I think so. But uh, he was talking, whoever it was, talking big boy game. Mm -hmm. Like making up stuff and also showing commercials that had Harold Ford character, allegedly, Mm -hmm. um with a white woman mm. playing into those stereotypes and tropes right yeah very much reminiscent of you know old school hollywood scaring white people mm -hmm. away from voting and so harold ford pulled up on him yeah at a campaign stop do you remember that 
I don't. I was around for it, but I do. It was a campaign stop for the opponent. Mm -hmm. And Harold Ford had been trying to talk to him about it, and the guy wouldn't talk to him. So Harold Ford pulls up on him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're doing X, Y, and Z against me. Yeah. And the guy was ignoring him, and Harold was yelling at him, trying to get his attention. Right. In my opinion, at my young age at the time, I was like, that's right, pull up on him. Da -da -da -da, right? Mm -hmm. My white coworkers were like, <gasps> aghast. Yeah, yeah. Because now he's scary black man. Mm -hmm. He's feeding into the threat. That. He fed, mm -hmm. fed the narrative. He fit into the narrative. He's fitting the stereotype. And they were aghast. Yeah. yeah. All it takes is one thing. And I'm not saying we have to play into respectfully politics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not saying that. Okay. I am saying, though, when your money comes from Hollywood, which is not black. No. It's just not. That's the reality of it. It's not. There are black people in Hollywood, but Hollywood mm -hmm. itself is not black. Mm -hmm. So how they view you affects your earning potential. Yeah. So That's yeah. True. I don't know. I am, I do want to know. Mm -hmm. It's just the nosy side of me. We've seen Will Smith after the thing. We've seen him at the parties. We've seen the little statement, whatever else. Have we heard from Chris? Not that I've seen, no. I hope and pray that that man also is feeling value and is being supported and is feeling cared for. And yeah. even if he views what he said as a mistake is yeah. knowing that that mistake does not earn you the assault that happened. Like yeah. I was very much surprised that LAPD in the DA's office didn't press charges. Right, because I know he didn't want right. to. Right. I was and surprised I, they didn't. Right, right. I didn't anticipate him doing that. On I, a smaller scale, yes, it's the Oscar. Culturally, yeah. I was like, oh, them the two uncles who get into it every, and not making fun of that. Yes, I understand the stage and the ramifications. As a Black person, though, if, whether it's our family or we know somebody oh they got into it over the space game that whatever somebody had too much look and they brothers and they gonna be okay you know and I'm not saying this is that hopefully again we don't know, we don't know. a to b what conversations have even now as we talk we don't know I have to keep saying because people think they know you don't know if they've talked if people talk you don't know True. so I never anticipated people were like oh Chris he should have him read I knew he wasn't going to press no charges. Now, no. like you said, obviously LAPD can do that themselves, but I was like, Chris Rock ain't doing that to that black man. No, man, and like he ain't about to be like, yeah, arrest that. You're like, no. So I, I but I, I, yeah, I hear what you're saying. I what should have happened? For me, it was like, what should have happened? What should have happened? I mean, so I don't, okay. the joke, Will Smith smacks. What should have happened after that? I have a hard time with the should have simply because there's several factors for me. I don't know that I'm in a position to be like, you should have, because I'm not judging jury. I, I'm just not. And, I, and I, I, I do believe, I will say this, and then we can kind of circle back. I happen to listen to, um, I, it's a PR person. She's a publicist. And she talked about, um, rival factions if you will <laughs> and having been at events and we don't know you know underlying situations with right. will and chris and how you go about moving artists around each other so if people knew which they apparently didn't that there was a situation they wouldn't have even been around right. each other exactly. um one example they gave right one example they gave because the the award chris was presenting was for documentary which quest love ended up winning Right. So, you know, some she had mentioned like, well, have Will Smith, because you have a Philly connection, present or something like that. But I'm interested to know, you know, if they knew, not knew that that was going to happen, but just have they been beefing all these years and we just didn't know about it or they just don't mess with each other. Um, but I, 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 I personally have a hard time saying what should have, you should have, because yeah, it, it shouldn't have happened. 
the slap shouldn't shouldn't have happened in my opinion I just no. I don't it, it just shouldn't have happened the whole incident I'm just like Ugh. yeah for me the slap should have happened but since it did yeah I'll look at it like this if you're at my house yeah and you slap another guest at my house then the slapper is removed from my house point blank okay. You, you got to go. Now, if you catch somebody in bed with your wife, you know, that's a little something we might talk about a little bit. But outside of that. <laughs> okay, that's why I'm saying there's some stipulations. Yeah. Though. <laughs> so for this one, I feel, and I feel really strongly about, okay. there's no scenario that, that Will should have been able to sit there. Okay. I feel that he should have been removed from the Oscars. Okay. And with removing him, it's probably Jada's going to go too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and y'all don't get to be here. Now, yeah. At one point, I even thought he probably shouldn't deserve the Oscar. And because, mm-hmm. you know, but it is for work that you've already done. It is. But you don't get to give this speech. Mm-hmm. And this pinnacle moment is taken away because of your actions. Yeah. And I hate to put it in parent terms, but yeah. you act a fool the day before your birthday. Mm-hmm. You don't get a birthday party. Get a party. It is still your birthday. You don't get a birthday yeah. canceled. How many parents have canceled Christmas, canceled birthdays, canceled X, Y, and Z because kid act the fool? Mm-hmm. There are ramifications for your actions. Yeah. And I think that he should have been removed from the venue. Okay. They can mail him a little statuette to his home. Mm-hmm. He can give a little speech on IG later on with his little film crew that he got anyway. Mm-hmm. But what you cannot do is sit up here on yeah. this stage mm-hmm. and try to spin it like we didn't just see you smack a man at the blackest Oscars ever. Yeah, shout out to Will Packer and Shayla. I forget her last name. They were both producers on it. Black woman, black man. And and Danny Glover and Samuel Jackson and Quest Love. Um, the musicians, D nice, who we be trying to cut. Exactly. You ain't watch it. The music in between was at the barbecue. Go ahead. I know, but I'm just like, yes, I know. I know. Every year, talk Oscar's so white, and here y'all come making it. No, here he comes making the damn source awards. Sit down. Sit down. Have several seats. Gather yourself. Come to death row. Something. So, I'm then, her, um, yeah, I am. I am. I like McLaurey. I like Big Willy Weekend in July with the blockbuster movies. Independence Day is my ish. We all know that I'm a fan of, of the art that he puts out. Yeah. I'm loving Bel Air right now. And I was a Fresh Prince fan. I'm still a Fresh Prince fan. I will say as a fan, I am disappointed. Like, I'm disappointed. Like, mm-mm. so that's that on that. Well, in the words of my mama. Come on, Dr. Hill. That is just unacceptable. And it was <laughs> unnecessary. Love her. And she's correct. She is correct. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> she said it. That you're not, the, the boomers are not pleased. That's all I'm going to say. The boomers are black mamas that are boomers are not happy. <laughs> My mama mad. My mama was like, and then he went to the party too. I said, he showed dead mama. He showed dead. But you already know what boomers upset. Yes, we're talking about it. Yes, them Gen Zers don't give a damn. Your kid, right? Yeah, don't give a damn. Yeah, they're over. Yeah, and you see, like, even the memes now. Okay, when can we stop talking about this? And for us, we're done. We spend a lot of time on it. I don't, I did have to take a break the day after. I just because I was like, it's too much. They don't pay my bills. I have real world problems. Uh, <laughs> ain't nobody die. They all right. And we too will be all right. So years move on so quick. Yeah. Yeah. From everything. So quick. Yeah. Like sometimes I even wonder if things are resonating with my children. Because mm-hmm. there are things that happen. Challenger resonates yes. moment in time. Not 11 resonates yeah. moment in time. Not equating the slap to either one of those things. Let me clarify that. Right. Right. But even with the war in the Ukraine, like, or, you know, I remember um, the invasion into Iraq, you know, and being, yeah. you know, all these different things. Yeah. And 
they move on so fast that I don't know if anything ever really resonates with them and really, really settles on them. You know, mm-hmm. it's very interesting because my, my daughters were done with it the night of. Right. Absolutely. They're like, okay, next. The night of, they're done. We learn from that too. Not all of those instances, but I can see the perspective in that one because again, nobody died. Nobody, like, it was rich people who are black. Like, there are other problems in the world. Definitely. I mean, I just, you know, sucks that it happened, but uh, okay. You know what? I think, and depending on where you are, musicians kind of do that because they, young people really felt the way when young Dolph was murdered like that for me was like seeing but again depends on where you are yeah you know what I mean makes sense so that I was like wow y'all, yeah and I'm you know I'll admit I don't know his songs like that I didn't know his songs like that right um, so for me I was like oh that's some, you know it's sad. a good point but yeah so I think it depends on depends on who it is okay um yeah so there's that and uh God is still good. All right. Amen. Amen. Um, <laughs> this is going on. There has been other stuff going on in the world. There's a lot going on. So lynching is now a federal hate crime. Mm-hmm. I'm reading the headline off of NPR. Um, yeah, it's a federal law. After a century of blocked efforts. So two Today, ceremony at the White House, President Biden signed the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act into law. Under the legislation, perpetrators can receive up to 30 years in prison when a conspiracy to commit a hate crime results in death or serious bodily injury. And then it goes on. <clears throat> you know, that's why I don't go to Mississippi because of Emmett Till. Like I really, ha- and I've never, for me, having gone to school in Memphis, Mississippi is like right there. Right there. And I have really good people and friends I know that are from Mississippi. You but do. Gr- I do. But growing up and learning and hearing Emmett Till, I never wanted to go there. Even though I wasn't around in the 50s, but I just, I didn't. And I think, not, not I think, I know. I went to Mississippi once or t- twice. Once to Tunica, which is where the casinos are. Of course. Um, and my college roommate took me. <laughs> and then the second time, because my major was broadcast journalism and it's so close, we went there to like cover a story. Uh, but for me, that, I mean, that's my kind of image. I was just like, I never want to go there. I don't want to go to Mississippi. All I know is Emmett Hill. So... Anyways, that happened. 30 years. Yeah. <clears throat> How much do you get for capital murder anyway on a federal level? Mm. That's my question. Yeah. I do not know the answer. Right. I also understand that the death penalty is still on the books at a federal level. Whether you feel about it, yay or nay, it mm-hmm. is still on the books. Yeah. So 30 years <clears throat> for the death of somebody as a result of lynching. That's what you said, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, most capital murder cases come with years. Yeah. So what are you it's what are you adding on to it? Is it an amplifier? Is it immediately gonna be um consecutive? Mm. Can you do them concurrently? yeah like these are questions i have that i don't have the answers to right but i'm I'm gonna need a little bit more on this one because if you're gonna say oh 30 years if you try to lynch if you lynch somebody Mm -hmm. but i'm one they're already dead probably murder one's gonna get you 30 to life any damn way so what's the special 30 gonna do to me is it a death penalty offense if you lynch somebody Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. would that then be a deterrent I just don't know that 30 years is, so. I don't know that it would be a deterrent for people who are set on killing us. Exactly. <laughs> it just, it, because they don't know the law anyway. 
play and it's like Ooh. so I just don't to me but that I hear, I hear, I hear, any I, better I, at yeah. all okay okay so here's what also does not make me feel better so mm -hmm. okay we've seen a lot of stuff about the January 6th committee right come out mm -hmm. and now they talked about the phone logs that are missing seven hours mm -hmm. I don't care and I'm bringing it up here to say I don't care and here's why I don't care okay every other day mm -hmm you say something that 45 or his henchmen did that was against the law, a threat to democracy and treasonous every day. Mm -hmm. Like something new comes out. They got the boxes in Mar-a-Lago. Oh, he got the missing phone logs. Oh, he asked Putin to release something about Biden. Like that happened today. Um, like literally asked it today. Oh, um, you know, just all these things. Y'all ain't put that with handcuffs yet. To me, quit telling me what he did wrong if you ain't gonna do nothing. Mm. If you ain't gonna do nothing, just be like, you know what, F it. We good, he good, we're gonna give him a pass. Then I'll be like, okay, that's that okay. BS, but I ain't gotta hear about it no more. Yeah. You're making a list of charges against a person that will never be brought to justice by the way that you're going right now. We've seen it time and again. So mm -hmm. just say you're a lame duck organization that you have no balls and just walk away and be like, you know what? We wasted your money, girl. Mm -hmm. And yeah. refund me my taxpayer dollars because y'all didn't do nothing. Because right. you're yeah. not doing anything. You mm -hmm. are frying all these little fish Mm -hmm. from January 6th oh here's your 20 days and oh here's your two months and oh here's your this for storming the capital mm -hmm. but the folks who planned it said go do it whatever else y'all ain't snatched them fools up yeah no. not y'all ain't snatched them fools up mm -mm. so mm -hmm. I don't I don't care anymore yeah. like yeah. and to me I think that is eroding people's faith. We've had a crisis of faith for a long time about this country. Mm -hmm. Like we've had it since, you know, 1619. Um, but a few years back, we was like, maybe they do mean us too. You know, we get those moments where it's like, maybe America does mean us too. Mm -hmm. We saw that in 54 with Brown v. Board. We saw that in other, you know, voting legislation that came through. We're like, it ain't perfect, mm -hmm. but we're making steps in the right direction. Mm -hmm. We saw that with the election of President Barack Hussein Obama. Oh, here we go. Did mm -hmm. we not, did you not feel like for a moment, it includes me too, right? You had to say his whole name every oh, time. God. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> but did you not feel that for real like I was excited it happened around my birthday <laughs> I was like what's my birthday this is a birthday present I'm, I'm being honest I know it was. Right. for me yeah. it was a moment where I was like they mean us too yeah yeah I got it you. ain't perfect right all right but the fact that a black man could have sent the highest wrong of this land I was like they mean us too you, you know excited. I was very excited you know I was yes we can look at everybody else they mean me si se puede. Si se puede. Mm -hmm. and then to have that dashed and for the past however many whatever show us that mm, we were just playing we were just playing it just gotcha it's, yeah, it's yeah. just ridiculous. And so there's this crisis of faith that we have to overcome as a nation. And I don't know when we will. You know, I don't know when we will. Yeah. And it should not take a 9-11 type event to make us unite again. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't take the aliens coming down. You know, if you see all the movies, aliens come down and we unite against the aliens. I think some of y'all gonna solve the aliens and sell everybody else out, to be honest. Like, 
I don't think you're for the team. I don't think you're for the team. If you can't see the humanity of your common man now, then you ain't going to see him doing War of the Worlds. You, you ain't going to act right then either. So I just, there's a crisis of faith. And until yeah. we start righting the wrongs, I know I keep saying your name, but until we start righting the wrongs, bipartisan writing of the wrongs and declaring wrong wrong again i don't know how long this american experiment is going to work so the doors of the church are open <laughs> i'm sorry that was not our hot topic today play softly <laughs> shut up <laughs> i'm serious though I'm like i'm worried about I'm stuff not- I'd be worried. And you, as you should be, you care. I do. Yeah. I do. That's good. That was your go off. That was your moment. You had your moment. That's my moment. You had another moment too, though. On a lighter note, taking a, a turn. much lighter note. That was good. And we're going to wrap it up after this. But yeah. Nasa takes Nola. Is that sound <laughs> dirty? That's not. <laughs> Nice takes no look. Put your girls on with you. So of let's course. get we want vacation recap. Hit it. Okay. So mm-hmm. I ended one phase of my career, one chapter, and I'm about to embark on another one. And in the meantime, I took a little brief respite to mm-hmm. New Orleans. Mm-hmm. People who know me know I love New Orleans. Yes. I love the center and the saints. I love the clouds and the voodoo. I love the humidity and the water. And I love everything that is the essence of New Orleans. I love the food and just, I love New Orleans. Quit making that face. You love the baby. I love New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So my daughters and I flew down to New Orleans and stayed on Bourbon Street. Oh. Hotel was decent. Should have been much better. It's another whole story, but you, I think I paid for the location more so than the hotel. Even though I stayed there before, and I think it was better last time, but COVID, short staff, it is what it is, right? Neither here nor there, we had a good time. Man, it was really good. I will say that this trip was planned primarily by my oldest because I was just too busy to put any effort into it other than putting money into it. Here's right. the room, here are the flights. When we get there, we'll figure it out. Yeah. That's, you know. Yeah. But um, we had a tour of the French Quarter, um, kind of a walking tour of that little historical little facts. You know, I'm a nerd like that. Yeah. I had plenty of rum. My favorite rum, old New Orleans rum, is hard to find in New Orleans. Oh. Apparently they had a fire. And so, yeah. So production's been either halted or very or yeah. very slow down. And I found it on the last day. It was like, give me a double shot, please. Thank you, Jesus. Like, give me, give me yeah. I'm a rum drinker. And I was just like, I need, I need two shots of that, please. Um, and don't like, don't put nothing in it. I'm here for the rum. I had beignets, um, I had all mm. the oysters and the alligator, and I think I had red beans and rice for every meal yes it's so good um walked and walked and walked of course Mm -hmm. learned a valuable lesson about myself so those who know me Mm -hmm. know I don't like animals no at all really no I mean all the animals Mm. but apparently I am deathly afraid of snakes oh so I don't know what it is with black people and these damn snakes out in public Somebody had it as a pet. People were on Bourbon Street. Just with it on. With it on. Mm-mm. Not just one person, multiple Mm-mm. people. Mm-mm. I'm afraid. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm afraid for real. Oh, God. Mm-mm. <laughs> and didn't realize how afraid I was until my daughters pointed out. They were like, Mom, you see the snake, you turn around you run and you cry. And I'm like, no, I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't. And they were like, each time you see the snake, you turn around, 
you take off running and you're crying. And I'm like, no, that can't be true. <laughs> <laughs> How do you black out, Nisa, a whole snake attack? So this night we're going down bourbon. Yeah. And I see the snake and I catch myself spinning around. <laughs> And my kids grab my arms and I'm like trying to go. And they're like, mom, there's traffic. You can't run into traffic. Oh. So I'm like, okay. And so I'm thinking, I said, okay, what if we cross the street? We can keep going. And she said, no, we mm-hmm. cannot. Mm-hmm. Cause there are three snakes. There's a dude in the, on each side of the street and in the middle. At that point, I don't recall it, but my kids say my knees buckled. God bless you. Get in the traffic. Yes, you just about to kill yourself. <laughs> the snake ain't thinking about you, but you about to kill yourself. Okay. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm afraid. Yeah. Of snakes. I don't like them either. I knew I had a problem with snakes. Yeah. Like, even watching them on TV. Mm-hmm. I close my eyes. Like yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's not my thing. Yes. Um, but I didn't know that I spent around and run and cry. <laughs> and cry. And cry. <laughs> okay, but you survived. Look at you. You made it. Mm-hmm. You know that yeah. happened. It wasn't a snake. When I went to New York, he had rats. It was two. And they were like <laughs> the size of a cat. <laughs> Damn, <mom. laughs> but for me. I didn't, my freak out happened. We walked past them so fast that it wasn't, I, when I, re, I was like, oh, so and they were sitting on each shoulder. No. This man was walking and they're just sitting on his shoulder. No. <laughs> but I didn't realize it. And we, I get by him and then I was like, oh my God. Nope. Those were rats. So I, I get. Tears. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So. Again, I knew I had an issue with this animal. (laughs) Many, 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 many years ago, my youngest child wanted a pet guinea pig. And I'm adamant we don't get no pet guinea pig. But she wanted one and she had love in her heart for a guinea pig. I said, good mother, we're going to go to PetSmart and we're going to go look at the guinea pigs, ask the man questions about the guinea pig to see if she should get a guinea pig or not. Like, is it high maintenance or not, blah, blah, blah. So we're in the store. <laughs> they keep the guinea pigs next to the rats, which are next to the what? Snakes. Right. So the man's talking to us and I can't hear him. <laughs> You're about to pass out. I can't, I can't hear him. I'm crying in PetSmart. My kids walk me out. I, I think it's on my neck. Like, I think it got me. <laughs> I'm so serious. Like it's on me. I'm doing this, trying to get it off me. And my kids walk me out of PetSmart in Smyrna. Yeah. To help me calm down. Yes. Because <laughs> yeah, Nancy's crying now, but when she laughs really hard, she also cries. I do. So yes. At that point in time, we realized. We wouldn't have any pets in our home because I can't go pop pet food at the pet no, smart no, because the snakes is in there. You so get a pet rock, exactly. Hence, we ain't got no pets <laughs> ever in this house, and I just, I just cannot. But I love the zoo. <laughs> but I don't go to the snake section. <laughs> right, that's what I'm gonna say. See, you made a choice. Yes. But I'll yeah. go to the zoo, look at the tigers and the bears, all them behind the glass. But you're not going to. I know. Okay, so you made it past the snakes. You kicked yes. it on bourbon. Kicked it on bourbon. Took a riverboat cruise down the Mississippi. Um, last minute thing, like they were bored of the boat. was like, we want to go too. <laughs> and Asian was like, we want to go on that one right there. They're like, six o'clock dinner? We're like, no, that one. <laughs> Gosh, the and they're that- like come on we got on the boat <laughs> like, so it was a lot of moments just like that like we just yes fell up into fun and it was good and it was a good time I am still tired I think everybody's feet still hurt mm-hmm. but um 
I would love to go back again and be better planned this time, but it's my it's still my favorite city in the world. Oh, still wrapping up in a bow. Yep. I love it. I'm glad you got some Nola. Yes. A little Nola in my life never hurt nobody. No, I I'm I need to go back and enjoy it. So whatever you do, incorporate some fun into your life. Yes. Listening, whether that be a trip or you know, just yeah. some time, family time, whatever. Take time for you. Yes, take time for you. Don't say that. nobody. And don't keep your hands to yourself. Amen. Unless it's warranted. Somebody touch you, you can touch them back. Yeah, I agree. Other than that, keep your hands to yourself. Touching you old. Anyway. <laughs> well, unless it's a little Marsha Ambrosia in my hands, your hands moment. Let's see. <laughs> Situation. Anyways, so, okay. be good, good people. We love y'all. Chime in, talk back to us, share with a friend. Yep. As always, we appreciate you. Bye, people. Bye.